a question for you. Are you someone that's 50 years or older and you had COVID infection, but then at some point afterwards you got shingles? I'm actually really interested to know because what we're talking about today is, is there a connection between COVID infection and then getting shingles? There's a new study out uh, that suggests this might be the case. So guys, let me know, first of all, um, in the comments, if you got COVID infection, even if you're not 50 or older, um, you got COVID and then you got shingles, let me know in the comments. Um, this is a really, really important and interesting concept. This question of, is COVID infection related to shingles? We're gonna break this down. Super interesting, guys. I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. It's good to see you. Let me just first remind you about shingles, okay? Uh, so shingles is a painful rash that is caused by a reactivation of the varicella zoster virus. The varicella zoster virus is a virus that actually causes chicken pox. Chicken pox, when you have it, when you had it as a kid or whatever, you got this virus, it made you sick. And then you, at some point you got over chicken pox, but that virus actually continued to lay dormant in your nerve cells. That's actually what it does. It hangs out. And then at some point in the future, when we're older, that virus can reactivate or sort of come back up when there's stress or illness or things like that in the form of shingles, which is a painful rash. Now, this question about COVID and shingles has come up, is there a connection? Now, there was a new study, and I'm just gonna tell you the bottom line because I think it's fascinating. This was a new study that basically found that people who were 50 years of age and older who had a COVID infection, um, a mild COVID infection, were 15% more likely to get shingles within six months after that COVID infection. Um, hello, that's a big deal. This is a study that's suggesting that, hey, if you're 50 and older and you get mild COVID, you got a 15% increased chance of getting shingles compared to someone who didn't get COVID. Not only that, they found for people 50 and over who were hospitalized with COVID, those people had a 21% increased uh, chance of getting shingles infection afterwards. Um, hello, this is kind of a, no, this is a big deal. This was a study that was published in the uh, Open Forum for Infectious Disease. Um, it's a study where they looked at lots of people who had COVID, lots of people who did not have COVID. It's important to note that none of the people had COVID, uh, had a COVID vaccine or a shingles vaccine. And that's how, when comparing the groups, they deduce that 15% increase in those with mild COVID, 50 years of older, uh, getting shingles, and 21% increase in, in getting shingles for people who had severe COVID. Um, guys, this is a big, big deal. Now, there's a lot of questions, okay? What this study suggests is that, yeah, there may be a potential connection between getting COVID if you're 50 and over and then getting shingles. In other words, COVID may increase your risk of getting shingles. And is this believable? Well, you know what? It is. Why? Because a few things. Number one, we know that um, shingles can come up when our immune system is not at its best. What does COVID do? Well, it kind of like it, 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 it gives our immune system a hit. So getting COVID may sort of weaken, alter your immune system to the point where getting shingles or having a, a shingles, a reactivation of the shingles uh, virus is maybe more likely. Also, we know that physiologic stress, when you are stressed, you are more likely to get shingles in conditions like that. Well, what happens when you get COVID? Um, you're stressed, okay? And we also know that uh, COVID may trigger reactivation of this virus that causes shingles in and of, of itself. And these are some of the things that the study suggests. I think it's really quite interesting for a number of reasons. This may very well be plausible. We need to look at more studies and stuff, but this was a really important and interesting start. Um, so yes, for many reasons, COVID may increase your risk of getting shingles. This study seems to suggest that it may trigger the reactivation of that virus, the varicella zoster virus um, that causes shingles. Now, a couple things to keep in mind, okay? Just because you had COVID doesn't mean you're gonna get shingles and we still need more studies and then there's still more that we're learning. I always have to say that. But what I would also say is that this is a reminder that you need to get your COVID vaccines because you don't wanna get COVID. Number two, if you're of the age who qualifies for the shingles vaccines, you need to get that too because you don't want to get shingles um, and it's possible that you may be more likely to get shingles if you get COVID. Guys, so once again, tell me, did you get COVID and then got shingles? Let me know. Um, but I could totally believe if this uh, relationship is in fact a, a more than a correlation, okay? Um, uh, so let me know what you think. I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, on-air health expert and video creator. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Guys, please subscribe to my channel and click the little bell for updates. Also consider joining my subscription groups. I'm Dr. Jen. I will see you soon.